So you might be familiar with this particular message you always saw whenever you're trying to log into your Salesforce, when there is some kind of maintenance, what would happen is you would see this particular message. Have you ever wondered uh, how Salesforce was showing up this particular message? I'll give you an answer shortly. Let me also show you a different slide. So sometimes whenever you're trying to log in, once you spin up a new or, or uh, then what would happen is Salesforce would ask you for your phone number for mobile verification. Most of the time we always say that remind me later or no thanks. If you do remind me later, every time you go on to a different uh, screen or every time you try to log in one more time, you'll see this particular screen uh, popping up. So Salesforce uses login flows at the background to collect either the information or show you some maintenance screens. So that is how Salesforce is trying to show you these particular messages. So let's see how we could do that uh, to stop our users from uh, logging into system and deployments are happening. In other words, we'll have our deployments weekly, uh, 15 days or monthly, right? So we could use uh, something like similar behavior to stop users from logging into system while the deployment is going on. So let me quickly deep dive into that particular demo. So I have my Salesforce open here. So let me click on setup. So as I was telling you uh, earlier, we had to use login flows to achieve that particular functionality. So the first thing is to achieve uh, or build the login flows, first you have to build some flows. So in the interest of time, what I did is I already built a flow and then we could uh, show you how to use it. So let me click on flows. Uh, let me see, it's coming up. Okay. So I created something called block users from uh, login. So in the, so here there are a few elements. Uh, I'll tell you what we are doing over here. The first thing is the start button, right? So every flow by default, it will have a start thing. And then what I'm doing is I'm using a custom setting. So which also has uh, a generic message. And uh, I'm using the hierarchical custom setting. So based on that, if the decision is true, then you would want to sh show a screen pop saying that, hey, uh, the deployment is in progress. Uh, you are not allowed to log in. So let's see, uh, let's uh, deep dive into each and every attribute of this. So that way we understand what's happening at the background. So when I click on the get records, right? So you know, there is like a couple of four functions, get records, update records, create records, delete records. So what I'm doing here is I'm using something called get records. So when I click on get records, I gave the label as block user custom settings and get records for this object block users from login. And then what I was saying is I was saying that, okay, get all block users from login records. So do not do anything. And then once I get that, uh, I'm saying that choose fields and assign it. So I'm creating a record. So this is the block user and display message. Let me show you the custom settings before we go further. So as I said earlier, we were, I was using custom settings, uh, hierarchical custom settings. So uh, here I created something called block users from login. If you see here, I created two fields. One is block user. The second one is display message. So I created one more record that said that okay so this is as you guys know in the location it's always that comes up the company name for now i put it as my company name the company that i'm working for so that's why you're seeing it as bubble but yeah you would if you're trying to create one record you would see your company name over here and the two fields that i created block user and display message so if this is active what it is telling us is, so whenever uh, the deployment is going on, I would check this particular box. So that way I'm turning on the custom settings to uh, custom settings and the flow would run and say that, okay, it would stop users from logging in. 
and the display message if there is uh, so uh, you, this is a generic message uh, in the display message you could have uh, anything for now i put it as system in under maintenance till may 25 8 pm can log in back later so if i deactivate this particular message i mean i deactivate this particular checkbox what would happen is uh, us would be able to log in in other words whenever the deployments are happening uh, before initiating the deployment you would like to have this checkbox enabled and uh, once your deployment is done then you have to remove off this particular checkbox so let's see what we have built in the flow so as i was saying earlier the first thing is you're getting the custom uh, setting records which is nothing but our block users from login we have two fields block user and display message so we have got all those two fields over here and then we are making a decision to check whether the block user checkbox is on or not so in the custom settings we said that if it is turned on that's when we want to show a screen pop saying that hey uh, the deployment is going on please do not log in so then let's see what we are doing on the screen pop so what kind of message so here i put a display text uh, the, on the screen uh, you could if you navigate over here you'll have display text you display it here and then i gave the api name as block users dot display message because whatever the message that is there in the custom setting that's the same message you want to pop it for your users so this is like a simple flow but it could get your things done let's see how that's behaving in action okay so now i have uh, i have already activated this and then uh, so i have one more user uh, with uh, standard yeah i think uh, there was one more step which i should have uh, said that so now the flow is done the custom setting is done so let's go to something called login flows login flows yep so there you go so i created uh, one more login flow so this fires for a particular profile and stops user with that particular profile from logging in so you don't want to do this for your system admins because for system admins you really need and your users would not be system admins right most of the time uh, it would be either standard user or your custom profiles or something like that so use this uh, anything other than system admin because you yourself would be locked out as well that's the word of caution so let's see that in action so what i did is i did a new and then from there i named it a standard user what are the profile name that's what i would use and the flow i picked up the flow and then user license so we have many user license since i'm using a, a salesforce developer org so that's why you see all sorts of license but most of the time we would be either using uh, salesforce or community logins uh, for these kind of things and then profile i say i have selected a standard user so if you want you could select any user but make sure you give the same naming over here so that way it's easier for you to understand uh, what kind of flow is enabled or what kind of uh, profile is being uh, run for this particular flow so now uh, let's go back and see our custom setting one more time just to make sure custom setting if we have enabled it on okay block users from login and check the manage yes it is turned on so now i have one more user with standard user so i'm gonna log in as uh, that particular user new incognito window or i could do in a new window rather i'm just logging in the new window login.salesforce.com i'm gonna change back the password but for faster things i'm gonna 
So, so now I'm logging in as Gary Smith, who is a standard user. So let me show you that as well. Users. So Gary Smith here, he's a standard user. So now if I click on login, let's see. Yeah, you could see that our login flow has fired the moment he has entered the password and clicked on submit. System is in under I mean system in under maintenance till May 25th, 8 p.m. Kindly log in back later. So that's the same message uh, that we were trying. Uh, that's the same message that we have configured in our custom settings. So this is how you could use uh, login flows. Now let's see. Uh, let's terminate the custom setting. Uh, in other words, let's turn off that particular checkbox. Okay, custom settings. All right. Okay, let's click on the manage. So now click on edit. And then in the block user, remove this, click save. Okay. So new video. So I logged in as Sai Rakesh Puli. That's the reason I was able to make that change. So now let me do in a new uh, window. The problem is if I do in a new incognito window, it's gonna fire a security validation. That's the reason I'm just juggling uh, with the new window itself. So now I'll take and see Gary Smith. So since we have turned off our login flow, we should be able to now log in successfully without any validation. But, okay, yeah. You could see that now I was able to log in successfully uh, without any message or prompt that was coming up. So this is how you could use login flows uh, to show a message to your end users saying that, hey, the deployment is in progress. Uh, so kindly uh, log back later or you could use login flows to collect any information from your customers like let's say if you are a community user if you want to collect some additional information you could use login flows for that as well or you could use login flows to show something like a terms and conditions message uh, or some privacy policy message or something like that so it's up to you it, it provides you with n number of possibilities so this is the beauty of your login flows 